And more breaking news at this hour. Governor Larry Hogan delivers his State of the State address right now. WJZ is live in Annapolis. Political reporter Pat Warren looks at some of the issues the governor will cover. We hear that applause. Pat. That's right. They're introducing the guests right now. Governor Hogan will be entering momentarily. Now, as far as the state of the state goes, this will be his final state of the state address in his first term of office. In this final session before the election, Governor Hogan has released a steady stream of legislative initiatives. And one day after the president's State of the Union address, legislative leaders are listening for his positions on Trump administration policies. The governor has already called for protections for Marylanders who stand to pay more state taxes due to changes in the federal tax law. Let me be very clear. Under our proposed legislation, Marylanders will not pay one cent more in state taxes as a result of the actions at the federal level. The governor has released a 2018 jobs initiative. We are continuing our focus on jobs, jobs, jobs. That goes hand in hand with Hogan's open for business strategy, most recently the effort to land Amazon's HQ2. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that that happens. The governor will also explain his plan for transportation infrastructure. This will bring our administration's total investment for new transportation projects in the Baltimore region to $7 billion. And education, as always, at the top of the list. I think we all agree education is most important. We all agree we should invest uh, money to make sure that we provide every kid an opportunity. But making sure that those state tax dollars are, are, are being spent wisely and that money is getting down to the kids. It's a full plate. <laughs> And on the health issue, Governor Hogan will continue to make the opioid crisis a priority. I'm Pat Warren reporting live from Annapolis. Now back to you on TV Hill. Pat, thank you. And you can watch the governor's State of the State live on WJZ.com and on the WJZ Facebook page.